do you see this dress? I am waiting as fast as I can. It's on sale, and if I can afford it, I'll wear it to the party on Saturday night. And I'll look like a million bucks. Sounds worth it at any price. <laughs> Here it is, gorgeous snow. Gorgeous, yes. It's 20% off, and it was $30. So how much would it be now? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What's 20% off this dress? Oh, uh, I'd cut it about here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. 20% off 30. 20% is one fifth. Because 20 goes into 100 five times. Okay. So we divide by five to find the fifth. Right. So five goes into 30 six times. That six bucks off the price, twenty-four dollars for the dress. How much do you have? Exactly twenty-four dollars. A million bucks for twenty-four dollars? That is a bargain. I bet you've come across problems like those girls had, where you go to a store and they've got something on sale, they're taking 25% off or 15% off or 10% off, and you might have had a little trouble figuring out what that meant in terms of what you're actually going to have to spend. Well, today we're going to work on that, multiplying or finding the percent of a number. The first and most basic way to do that is to convert the percent into a decimal, and then multiply that decimal times 100. For instance, if I've got 53% of 100, then I convert the 53% to a decimal, and I get 0.53. How do I do that? Well, I move the decimal point on the percentage 2 to the left. 53%, which is the same as 53.0%, I move the decimal 2 to the left, and 53% becomes 0.53. And then I multiply that times 100, and when I multiply by 100, I'm just moving the decimal 2 to the right, and so 0.53 times 100 equals 53. Well, let's try one a little bit harder. 38% of 75. Well, the first thing I need to do is convert 38% to a decimal. And 38%, I move the decimal place 2 to the left, and it becomes point. 38. So now, 0.38 times 75, I know, or I calculated that, and it equals 28.5, and all you got to do is set up a multiplication problem and multiply 0.38 times 75, and you'll get 28.5. Well, that'll always work. You convert the percentage into a decimal, and then you multiply it times the number. But a lot of times, you don't have a calculator with you. You don't have paper and pencil. You may have to do this in your head. You're at a store and it's 15% off a product. How are you going to figure that out? You need to do it in your head. And I'm going to show you some tricks that will help you do that. Let's say we wanted 1% 1 of 100. Well, we could go to the, uh, the, the full method. We can convert 1% to a decimal. We do that by moving the decimal place of the 1% 2 to the left. And 1% becomes 0.01. And then we multiply 0.01 times 100, and we get 1. But there's a simpler way we could have done this. If we just take the 100 and move its decimal place 2 to the left, then we get 1. And 1% 1 of 100 is 1. So all we had to do was move the decimal two places to the left. Let's try another one. We got 1% of 75. Well, again, we could convert 1% to a decimal, 0.01, and then multiply that times 75, and we get 0.75. But the other way we could do it is take the 75 and move the decimal 1, 2 to the left, and then we end up with 0.75. So 1% 1 of 75 is 0.75. There's a rule here. That rule is... To get 1% of a number, move the decimal place of the number two places to the left. Okay, well, let's have you try a couple. What's 1% of 860? What do we do? We do something by, we move the decimal or something like that. Well, you figure it out in your head. Tell me when you're done. Oops, I think I heard you say you're done. It's 8.6. 
I just took the decimal place of the 860 and moved it 2 to the left, and I got 8.6. Try another one. What's 1% of 45? Figure it out in your head, and I'll flip on the answer in a minute. Da, 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 da. Time's up. It's 0.45. We just move the decimal 2 to the left, and we end up with 1% of 45 equals 0.45. All right, well, let's take this idea a little bit further. Let's say we wanted to find 3% of a number. I picked 3 out of the air. It could be 2%. It could be 4%. Let's just try 3. Let's say we wanted to get 3% of 40. Well, 3% equals 1% plus 1% plus 1%. So 3% equals 1% plus 1% plus 1%. 1% of 40 equals 0.4, because we just take that decimal place and we move it 2 to the left. So 1% of 40 is 0 0.4. 3% would be 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4, which is 1.2. 3% of 40 is 1.2. How about this one? Find 12% of a number. 12% of 25. Well, what's 12% equal? 12% equals 10% plus 1% plus 1%. Well, what's 10% of 25? 10% of 25, I move the decimal place 1 to the left, and I get 2.5. And what's 1% of 25? Well, I move the decimal place 2 to the left, and I get 0.25. So 12% of 25 is 10% of 25, or 2.5, plus 1% of 25, or 0.25, added twice. 2.5 plus 2.25 plus 0.25 equals 3. Okay. Well, let's take this a little bit further yet. Let's say we wanted to find 120% of a number. Let's say 120% of 500. Well, the first thing to remember is 120% equals 100% plus 10% plus 10%. So, 100% of 500 equals 500. 10% of 500 equals 50. 120% of 500 equals 100% of 500, or 500, plus 10% of 500, or 50, twice. 500 plus 50 plus 50 equals 600. How about this? Finding 9% of a number. Well, that's it's hard to work with 9% of a number, but 10% of a number is easy to work with. Could we change 9% to 10%? Let's say we wanted to get 9% of 500. Well, 9% equals 10% minus 1%. 10% of 500 is 50. 1% of 500 is 5. So 9% of 500 would be 10% of 500, or 50, minus 1% of 500, or minus 5. 50 minus 5 equals 45. Try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit your forward key. Forty-one percent of two hundred. Well, let's see how we're going to do that. Well, let's try it this way. Forty-one percent equals forty percent plus one percent, which is the same thing as saying ten percent plus ten percent plus ten percent plus ten percent plus one percent. Forty-one percent equals ten percent four times plus one percent. So forty-one percent of two hundred equals 10% of 200, which is 20, and there's four of those because it's 40%, plus 1% 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 plus 1%
plus 1% of 200, which is 2. So 41% of 200 equals 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 2, or 82. Try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit your forward key. Try this one, huh? All right, let's try it. 29% of 120. Well, 29% equals 30% minus 1%. And 29% also equals 10% plus 10% plus 10% minus 1%. So, 10% of 120 is 12. So I've got three of those 12s, but then I got to subtract. 1% of 120, which is 1.2. So 12 plus 12 plus 12 equals 36, and 36 minus 1.2 is 34.8. Try this one. 120% of 90. hundred twenty percent of 90. Well, first of all, we know that 120% equals 100% plus 10% plus 10%. It's not hard to figure out that 100% of 90 equals 90, and it's not hard to figure out that 10% of 90 equals 9. So 120% of 90 equals 90 plus 9 plus 9 plus 90 equals 90 plus 9 plus 9 or 108. Try 20% of 455. Hit your pause button, do the math, and then hit your forward key. Twenty percent of four fifty five. Well that's not that hard. Twenty percent is ten percent plus ten percent. Ten percent of four fifty five is forty five point five. 45.5 plus 45.5 is 91. So 20% of 455 equals 91. Well, I hope now that you have a pretty good understanding of finding the percent of a number. But let's test that. Let's go to www.mastermath.info and then download the worksheet under 6th grade, 2nd quarter, 5th lesson, and try your skills. Also at mastermath.info, there's an interactive quiz you can take to find out how well you understand this. Well, I hope you had a good time, and we hope to see you real soon.